Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a US flag glitter tumbler. Let's start. First of all, I don't have any specific measure for this technique and most of the time I just eyeball where I place the tape. I like to place the tape in a slightly diagonal way so it gets a look like a waving flag. You are going to continue to add more tape as close as possible but without overlapping. These lines will become our flag stripes. At this point, you have to notice that I'm leaving a blank spot. This spot will later be the blue part of the flag. Now that you are almost finished, you are going to delimit the blue part of the flag. With an exacto, you are going to cut through the tape and remove any excess of it. Now you have to fully wrap the cup, making sure all your tape match with the rest you already have, like this. At the end, if you have something that doesn't match, you can always adjust it, remove it and tape it again. And now you are ready to add your blue glitter. I would like to add that I prefer dishwasher safe mod posh than the regular one, but a lot of people use it.
when you use mod podge i always recommend you have to do two coats of glitter this way you get a good cover Also, when you use more than one color, you will need to seal each color before the next one. In this case, I sealed it with a clear spray paint. Now it's time to remove the tape, but don't remove it all, just every other one. Now this line will be your red glitter. Remember, you have to add two coats of glitter and seal it. Now that you have to your two coats of glitter and seal it, it's time to remove your last tapes. Before you start adding glitter, you have to clean all the loose glitter you can find so you can get clean white lines. Every time you use different color, always remember to wipe off the excess to avoid mixing colors. You are almost finished your design. If you've taped your cup as I did, this is the time to remove it before you place your stars. Now we only need the stars. For the stars I use glitter HDB and I cut them with my silhouette machine.
I decided to glue the star with my iron, but I think it could be easier if you use Mod Podge. If you have any excess, just cut it with an exacto, and your design will be ready for epoxy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like. Thanks for watching.